G'day everyone, welcome to 2024. We're starting off the year down here at Bendemere. It's a small village on the New England Highway near the intersection with the Oxley Highway, about an hour south of Ta Armadale and 20 to 30 minutes north of Tamworth. Bendemere is a beautiful little historic town. Uh, many of you might know the name of the town Bendemere uh, because of one of our cricket players, the, the uh, fast bowler, Josh Hazelwood uh, comes from this little town, um, so it's put Bendemere back on the map. We're going to go and visit the Bendemere Hotel, which is a classic Australian pub, and have a good meal and look around the rest of the town. Bendemere Hotel is a historic landmark in Bendemere on the banks of the Macdonald River. It has been beautifully renovated by its new owners, Leanne and Mark Summers, and it provides hotel accommodation, bistro meals and a well-appointed bar. So here we are in the Bendemere Hotel with Leanne, our new mate. Uh, now Leanne has been saying it's a really busy day here, lots of people coming home, and she's got a couple of great gift ideas that capture a bit of the history of the Bendemere Hotel. So tell us a bit more about that. Right, thank you, Scott. Look, I'm Leanne Summers. I'm the publican of the Bendemere Hotel. The Bendemere Hotel was first built in 1864 by Mr John Glover and it was actually called the McDonald Inn after the famous McDonald River outside in our beer garden. So we have a couple of lovely books here for sale. One is on the Bendemere history. Um, it's absolutely superb for anybody who's a history buff or who has a family connection to Bendemere and it's for sale for $25. Uh, it goes to the Historical Society of Bendemere and we have this amazing book. It's uh, written by the great grandson, Peter Spencer of Thunderbolt's apprentice, William Mockton. And um, William, at the age of 14, actually was released from Pentridge Jail in Sydney. And he was brought through to Armadale on the Cobham Coast stagecoach with the police. And he stayed here in this hotel overnight and had lamb chops and potato for dinner. So it's a great read. And uh, I've had the copies here available all year round. Um, and we open seven days a week. Uh, we have a beautiful bistro. Uh, we do lunch and dinner, Scott. We do breakfast for all our in-house guests. Um, yeah, and we've got the most magnificent beer garden out there you could ever want sitting under the shady London plane trees. So thanks, Scott. Thanks for calling in today. Wonderful. Yeah. So, so just going on the beer garden outside, mm. the river's just outside. Yes. What happens when it floods? Yes. So when it floods, the river will expand. Uh, we've never had any trouble here with the flooding. It has come in the hotel once in 1962. It came in about two feet uh, into the pub. Uh, but thankfully, it's never come back since. Um, and it is something to see when the McDonald's in, you know, when it's swollen in flood and it's roaring past. It is pretty magnificent. Yep. Yeah. So how would you rate living in Bendemere out of 10? 10 out of 10, this is awesome, or 1 out of 10, let's move. Where would you go? No, 10 out of 10. My husband, Mark, and I have just moved over from the coast eight years ago. We've had the hotel for about two and a half years and we're not going back. We love it. We actually have um, purchased more property here in Bendemere and it is just so quiet, so peaceful, but yet we're on the edge of a major city, which is Tamworth. It's only 30 minutes to Tamworth. Yeah. You've got everything you need yeah, down absolutely. there. Absolutely. And a beautiful little community, Bendemere, yes. about 500-ish people. Uh, around about three to 350. 350. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. So no, absolutely tranquil. Um, the seasons are beautiful. Yes, it gets cold in Bendemere, but if you love the cold, it's just beautiful. And you sit by the fire, and I love it. I love it. Absolutely and, love it. And a couple of nice warm drinks. Yes, Wonderful. yes. And we have the fire going here through the winter months as well. Yeah, yeah very there nice. You go. So yeah. pop up to the Bendemere Hotel, catch up with Leanne. Yeah. Um, she loves to share all about the motel, the hotel, and yes. everything that's happening. So yeah. lots, awesome. of, lots and lots of history to share. Great. Thanks, Dan. Thanks, Scott.
The hotel plays an important part in Bendemeer's community, as well as that of the wider New England as a meeting place for friends and family from around the region, or a welcome stopover for travellers. The hotel provides delicious meals, a range of drinks, including a carefully curated selection of fine wines. Apart from the hotel, visitors will find Bendemeer to be a peaceful and beautiful location along the Macdonald River. The Macdonald River is actually the upper Namoy River, which eventually reaches the Darling Murray system via the Barwon River near Walgett. Its estuary is at Murray Mouth as far away as South Australia near Adelaide. With national parks nearby and fishing, there's plenty to do. Local events also include the Grey Fergie Tractor Muster, which is a tractor exhibition for enthusiasts, an art show in April, and the Camp Draft and Rodeo in February. There is also a cafe and general store for your convenience and a regular bus service to Tamworth. An overnight campground next to the rodeo and showgrounds is available for $5 per vehicle per night and it is limited to one night only and there's a tourist park which offers opportunities for longer stays. We're not sure where we're going next but we know we want to spend those minutes with mates.